the ground really closing in now on that SRC. Helio milestone. Helio 1 has visual on the SRC below the chute. That is phenomenal. Let's see that view here from that first helicopter. They've got visual on the sample return capsule under parachute, that orange creamsicle colored parachute, really bright in the morning light over the Utah Test and Training Range. A great view of the SRC we can have now from our helicopter as it continues to make its final descent to the terrain below. And once again, just setting the context for this, when we first hit the top of the atmosphere, we were at 27,650 miles per hour. We are now leisurely decelerating under our orange parachute to 11 miles per hour. Incredible amount of deceleration there as Earth's atmosphere really helped us out quite a bit getting that initial deceleration. Our drogue parachute initially stabilizing our descent and then ultimately that main parachute bringing us home. You can see right in the center of that crosshair, that is the parachute with the SRC dangling beneath. The team on the the team on the WB fifty seven doing EDL milestone. We have touchdown. I repeat, EDL SRC has touchdown. And touchdown of the Osiris Rex sample return capsule. A journey of a billion miles to asteroid Bennu and back has come to an end, marking America's first sample return mission of its kind and opening a time capsule to our ancient solar system. Unofficial touchdown time. 8.52 a.m. Mountain. And the team can now breathe an immense sigh of relief. We now have the sample return capsule, the SRC, containing pieces of the asteroid venue. You see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement of getting that sample from the other side of the solar system at asteroid Bennu. Recovery operations. Recovery team is in the vicinity, beginning their initial assessments. Front and center there, Stu Wiley, our on-scene commander, and right behind him is Victoria team. They are both wearing personal protective equipment, gas masks. That's for their own safety as they approach, as there could be potential outgassing from that sample return capsule's batteries heating up during re-entry. You can see him scanning the region. He's checking for any possible unexploded ordinances, UXOs. Recovery in the operations. Oscar's performing the unexploded ordnance survey. And you just heard that he is, in fact, doing that survey right now. You can see him walking around the SRC. This is the first person to come in contact with this SRC since it was on the other side of the solar system. We had sent this on a long journey. It was Cyrus Rex spacecraft. 